It's Euphoria the Let's go. Episode number four. We gonna see how it goes. Jules is killing this wig. I'm loving this look. Who's this white man? I really love him. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I was, I was expecting this. This must be a dream. What? No, this isn't real. She's fantasizing. She must be fantasizing. No, nah, but it's still going. Oh my. This is real? This is real. Oh, we're just outside. Oh, shit. Oh my god, this is real. You know what's fucked up, Nate? You telling me that you love me and then going and being in a relationship with my best friend. Oh, what? 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 What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my gosh. First 15 minutes. Do I blame Jules? Elliot is emotionally intelligent and wealthy and financially stable. So it's like, there's the drug addict and then there's this guy. I'm not saying what she did was right. It was not. But at the end of the day, that guy's fine. So I'm just saying, like, I get it, you know? And the way they were using stuff like that, I thought it was a dream. I didn't think it was real. I thought, yeah, like, this is just her fantasy. And then she's going to clock out of it and be like, oh, my gosh, I think I have feelings for her. No! No, that was real life! I'm shocked. Whew. Anyways, Cassie, that babe is vindictive. She does this whole innocent act. This girl is malicious. Huh? Oh my days. And Maddie, like, obviously doesn't know any wiser. She's thinking, Cassie's a good friend to me. You know, she gave me this gift. They're even crying. Cassie's not... I'm not even gonna say not well. She knows what the fuck she's doing because I'm not gonna give her that mental health card. If I give her that mental health card, it makes it seem like, oh, now she can't control her actions. Cassie knows what she's doing. That baby's a witch. Huh? The cheek of her to be like, I wouldn't have done this if I knew you guys were going to get back together. Are you ill? That's their whole relationship. Going in and out, in and out, in and out. And now you're talking about, oh, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you guys um don't end up together because you're toxic. Ah, don't pretend like you give a fuck about my D. You're doing this for yourself huh maybe like one social justice warrior you're not the, you don't care about the cause you don't care about maddie you care about yourself b let's not pretend cassie is so shameless and nate is seeing how i'm just deep in it yeah obviously nate's like what the fuck you're trying shit like da, 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 da. you're doing all of this for you um you're acting like you're such a good friend you're not a good friend da, da, da. suddenly cassie is showing her actual insanity she's actually crazy she's actually crazy oh my gosh i'm looking at cassie like oh my you are you are on un, you are unwell you are unwell because this isn't even a case of daddy issues anymore this bitch is a witch i don't know if maddie and nate are gonna get back together obviously i hope not but like the conversations she's having with nate it seems like she obviously she knows better right abusive relationship come with layers in it so i hope she doesn't get back together with him but we'll see and i'm not gonna blame her because at the end of the day a victim's a victim and he's so attractive i want my own elliot like where do i find someone like that like man is the drugs oh, oh fuck oh my that was not worth a broken that was not worth a broken window hi. she said hi like he's there for her no. what the fuck <laughs> in it <laughs> international take but robbing that liquor store was not worth a fucking broken window when Ruth started drinking like if you're gonna be an addict yeah can you at least be a little bit safe this baby's not making it to 18 Rue is mad annoying. Whenever I see them, they are like acting like in any type of show or movie. In my mind, it's like that's Zendaya. But here, no, this is not Zendaya. This is Rue. I 
dislike her so much she's such a burden oh my days i've even forgot to say like obviously elliot i think he's quit quitting like i don't know if it's on purpose but obviously rue left him a line and he just blew it away so my mind i'm thinking oh like what's the change you know that's great i'm happy for you that is amazing but it's like what happened did something happen like let me know carl carl i don't know nate's dad drunk driving it's like oh. like i know he's not gonna die you know i don't know that there's like there's no type of security with this character like, what the hell? but i don't think he's gonna die because like that would be a bit like you know it would stop a lot of plot points i don't really know that what that would i don't really know what anyone would gain from his death maddie's birthday that was cute that was cute like good for her but yeah, cassie is so weird like because he's here to see maddie at maddie's birthday party with a birthday gift for maddie now you want to strip down into a swimsuit and get into the jacuzzi okay all right all right do you be do you do you do you like she just looks like a hot mess she's mad desperate but it's the thing of she's constantly crying to make herself seem like to validate what she feels like she's a victim of but she's not a victim but she's trying to act like that i don't like her that's so crazy like end of season one i was thinking yeah cassie she's just got a couple screws loose she's gonna be calm she just needs therapy she just needs to be alone this bitch is a villain oh my god she's a mess <laughs> No, she's so pathetic. This is so embarrassing. Heroin to fentanyl to benzos. People would just take the lie to their graves, but now it's like. But I don't know what she's gonna do. Like, is she just gonna break up with her? Is she gonna tell her mom? I just didn't want to keep lying to you. I feel like someone needs to tell her mom so she can go back into rehab before she finishes that suitcase of drugs. Maddie exposed her Nate for everything that he said to her, like all the like you know the sweet nothings and stuff. For Cassie to just throw up like that. <laughs> that scene where she was walking up the stairs because obviously she's just vomited and then she makes eye contact with Nate. It was so pathetic. She she's a mess. She's an actual mess, and it's so embarrassing to watch. Oh, and God knows. Even with all this information, she's still, she's still going to go back to his yard. Cassie's not going to stop dealing with Nate. Cal Jacobs getting kicked out of the bar. Didn't really care, I'll be honest. He's, he's just weird, like, he's got an alcohol problem. His life is just a mess. Elliot telling Jules that Rue is actually using and coming clean about it is so wild to me. Like, obviously, it's the bare minimum. He's like, I don't want, I don't want to keep lying to you and stuff like that. And it's like, wow, like honestly i really like him but obviously he's fine so why wouldn't i you know now that jules knows that information i don't know what she's gonna do like are you gonna tell her mom are you just gonna break up with her like you know what i mean in this situation i would feel so angry though so all the times you spoke to me like shit like you made me feel off and da 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 it was just because you were high and that you were hiding it from me and these like last couple of months or maybe it's been a couple of weeks i don't know these last couple of weeks you've just been keeping this humongous secret it's insane i want to date someone with a nice shirt collection that shirt's nice what the fuck oh my god why is no one in this show no more you know how many men i've fucked what cal stop it Huh? Karen? Please, please stop. Do you know how many men I've fucked? Dad, why are you saying this? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> You're a bunch of fucking hypocrites. This guy's weird. I'm a man. Shut I'll up. Whoever I want. I'm a man. Shut I up. The porn on your fucking computer made my jaw drop. <laughs> Marsha, come back. You saw it. Your mother's the one who showed me. Oh my gosh. Don't talk to me about secrets. You know what? I'm not saying I like him suddenly, Watching but this is a great scene. I'm enjoying myself. Fucking 
come funnels oh my gosh this scene is so good like what two dick wads can <laughs> what the fuck i forgot to make an outro so this is me saying the episode was good and i'm too tired to say anything else so this is the end of the video too bye we're going left right you were just doing center Thank <laughs> you.